Hey there, everybody. Welcome to Mariah's Moves. If you're seeing me, then you're officially tuned in to either the Mariah's Moves Dance channel or the Mariah's Moves Dance page. This week, our mini Bible study verse comes from 1 Timothy 4.12, and it goes like this. Do not let anyone look down on you because you're young, but set an example for the believer in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. So... What exactly does that mean in context? Well, it means exactly what it says, honestly. <laughs> um, in this day and age, a lot of young people have kind of had to step up to the plate and become leaders. And that's not to say that like the older generation um, still isn't like good enough, that they can't share their wisdom or do their thing, because God has put gifts in people individually and everybody has someone to offer. So first and foremost, this is saying just don't look down on anyone. It's plain and simple. But as believers, we are he like held to a higher standard of living. Okay, so um, if you say something and we're like, well, this person has a potty mouth. Why should I listen to anything that they say? Then they won't. If you conduct yourself in a strange way, then people are like, well, they're over here doing this. Why shouldn't I do it too? But also, if you lose sight of love, like loving yourself, loving other people, and most importantly, loving God, then that's where you veer off on the side of the road and things just get all kinds of messy. And the same thing is um, pertaining to faith as well. If you don't trust God, if uh, you know, you kind of just forget about your faith and try and do things under your own strength and things are going to veer off in the opposite direction and you're setting a course for failure. Um, because the one thing that you have to keep in mind is that God is above everything and in love he has given us the greatest love and he enables us to have the, like, faith that we need in order to succeed okay and then the final thing on this list which i believe is just the start of things is impurity now we are people we do get tempted by the flesh but we talked about um in a couple of streams ago how god forgives our iniquity so we have to walk the straightest and narrowest path that we possibly can. And when we do mess up, when we do kind of fall by the wayside, remember that God um, can cleanse us of our iniquities if we go to Him. So, another thing that you should remember is that in everything, in your speech, in your conduct, in your love, in your faith, and in your purity, the basis of all of this is in God. And, um, got to live our best lives and so that other people know that God is good, that he has instilled these things in us, and that they can have it too. All right, everybody, for our dance today, we're going to keep it real simple and real easy. And we're going to do the scripture for the verse that we discussed already today, which is 1 Timothy 4.12. So it looks like this. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to cut to the right side, cut to the left side, and then you'll point here and down. Then you'll point, twist, and down. Um, then you'll go open here, open here open both and repeat that again so cut here cut here up down up twist down <laughs> and then go right left both and then it changes a little bit so then you go hands to your mouth and away and then you bring both hands up from the bottom, then goes cross against your chest, then hands together, and then one hand out to the side. So you'll repeat that again. So it goes um, here and open, then lift, 
up and cross your chest <laughs> then hands together and then one hand out to the side then you will repeat everything over again twice <laughs> okay so you go cut across cut across up down up twist down <laughs> and then go right left bow <laughs> Then go right, left, then up, down, up, twist, down, <laughs> then right, left, bow, then go hands, mouth, um, then it goes, pull up from the bottom, and then you go um, cross your chest, hands together, and then out to the side then hands mouth and then you go up from the bottom then you go cross your chest hands together out and then you're done Thank you.